In every culture and cuisine, the flavour of food is key. It has to taste good. It's even better if it's good for you and the planet. Finding sustainable ways to capture flavour has become crucial in this growing global market. At this property in Pomona on Queensland's Sunshine Coast, the fertile fields are full of flavour. The Templeton family has been growing ginger on the farm since the 1940s. Certainly for us, we like to look long term and we look at long term relationships as gold, to be perfectly honest. The family run business supplies to McCormick, a world leader in flavour. At the peak of the season, 35 tonnes of ginger passes through the packing shed each day. Each piece goes through a rigorous inspection before either being packed for sale or trucked to McCormick's Palmwoods plant and processed within 18 hours of harvest. At the plant, the goodness from the field is captured in a paste as part of the gourmet garden range. Many people like to use ginger different ways, whether it's the fresh or the dried or the paste. So McCormick's have done a lot of research and development to be able to produce a product that is user friendly as well. Not only has Gourmet Garden become a household staple in Australia, it's also making its way into kitchens across America. It's fantastic to see new markets and, and products that just sort of expand and reach out to places like the US. The Templetons are among more than a dozen Australian growers hand-picked by McCormick, not just for their high-quality produce, but their commitment to sustainable practices. McCormick collaborates with farmers and researchers on the latest innovations in agricultural technology. We give them opportunities to improve and to be more cost-effective in their business model as well. Some of it is uh, sensor technologies, um, measuring things on farms that traditionally we have, haven't been able to measure. Uh, others, uh, things like robotics uh, and automation. Templeton Ginger has been using drones for a better perspective on crop health. So that we can actually find disease like within crops quickly. They've also installed moisture sensors which helps prevent overwatering, working in turn to conserve this most precious resource. Researchers come from various fields, from private corporations and government departments to educational institutions like Central Queensland University. We see ourselves as, as partners with the end users. We, we're not seeing them as, as funders or supporters of our research, but they're really partners in our research and, and companies that, that have a similar perspective are the ones that we really want to work with. This year, McCormick and Company ranked the 14th most sustainable corporation in the world and number one in the food products category in the Corporate Knights Global 100 Sustainability Index. The company isn't just focused on improving sustainability in its own backyard, but also in other countries and communities where it sources its herbs and spices. In a first for the spice industry, McCormick's introduced a certification program called Grown for Good. The aim of Drone for Good is actually to assist in developing sustainable communities and a ethical product. Regardless of the location or the crop being produced, there's a common goal. Every farmer also is looking at continuing to, to run that operation into the future. Uh, so there's a lot of interest in practices that will contribute to that long-term environmental sustainability of production systems. Providers like McCormick have to continuously predict flavour trends to cater for consumer tastes and values. It all just goes to show even the tiniest ingredient in a meal can have the biggest impact on our plates and our planet.